Hi everybody, Religious Fanboy here again, and we are going to be talking about um, the what the Bible says about the importance of our relationship with other people. Um, I'm going to be moving around a little bit. We'll be reading, I'll be reading three, we'll be discussing three passages. Um, First one that we'll be doing is, is Ecclesiastes. Um, we'll be reading through Uh, we'll be reading Ecclesiastes verse chapter four verses nine through eleven. I mean nine through twelve. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, one will lift up his companion. But woe well to him who is alone. When he falls, for he has no one to help him up. Again, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can one be warm alone? The one may be overpowered by another. Two can withstand him. And a threefold cord is quick is not quickly broken. Um, and now, there is a passage in Proverbs that I'm wanting to read. Um, I'm going to read the majority of Chapter 18 of the book of Proverbs. So uh, feel free to pause it and turn your Bible to that. Um, a man who isolates himself seeks his own desires. He rages against all wise judgment. A fool has no delight in understanding but in expressing his own heart. When the wicked comes content comes also, and with dishonor comes reproach. The words of a man's mouth are deep, are deep waters. The will spring of wisdom is flowing, but it's not good to show partiality to the wicked or to overthrow the righteous in judgment. A fool's lips enter into contention. And his mouth calls for blows. A fool's mouth is his destruction. The words of a table of a tail bearer are like tasty trifles, and they go down into the immote's body. He who is slothful. In his work is a brother to him who is a great destroyer. Name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. The rich man's wealth is his strong, strong city. And like a high wall in his own esteem. Before the destruction... The heart of a man is haughty, and before honor it is humility. He who answers a matter before he he hears it is folly to shame him. The spirit of the man will sustain him in sickness, but who can bear a broken spirit? Um, 
I'm gonna close. I'm gonna stop there and we'll be going on to the next passage. Um, turn your Bible to um, to um. To chapter fifth, to chapter fifteen of John, and we'll be reading from um nine from verses nine to seventeen. As the Father loved me, I also have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may remain in you, that your joy may be full. This is my commandment, that you love one another. As I have loved you, greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one's life for his friends. You are my friends. If you do whatever I command you, no longer do I call you servants. For a servant does not know what, what his master is doing, but I have called you friends. For all things that I heard from my Father, I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. These things I command you, that you love one another. With that being said, may God be with you, and see you next time. Bye.